Hey there, I'm here from thickity.com and I'm going to help you make your iTunes look more professional with the album artwork and description. Um, this video has been requested from a user named Joe Jester on behalf of Joe Jester and he already did it, um, has a request before. This is the second request I'm giving out for Joe Jester. Keep up the requests guys, I love, you know, helping you out right now. So, what we're going to do, we have two methods, to, we have actually three methods to do this. Two of them require iTunes. So if if one fails, we're gonna go on to the next one. And the last, you know, methods, you know, they can't fail because you're using the whole internet. But what we're trying to do first, we want to go easy. We want to make, we want to have an accurate description of the album and song. Um, we'll, we can type the information in from the internet. And let's say, what example I'm gonna use for this video is the Vivaldi Four Seasons classical piece, which might be a little more complicated. But as you can see, like more popular songs like, um. We are young, or whatever you know those songs. Um, they they're easier because you know the artist and all that. You can just Google it up, and sh boom, you have the information. And when you after you get the information, you want to click on right click on the album or the individual song, so you can go into the song, right click on it, get info, and then info, and then you'll input your information here. Now this has to be really accurate, and you can't have like made up garbage in one of these or it might disrupt you know or you know corrupt iTunes from able from automatically getting the image from its database so you want to go on Google or any other major search engine and like type in um, we are young iTunes alright and the iTunes page is gonna come up see this happens you might lose album artwork and information from importing from CD um, like you bought cause it could happen so this is the single you know you can you can if you don't find um specific all right this is the one so if you don't find this is a remix but let's for example like this is the name we are young all right you want to copy the name of the song and the artist um okay you want to copy the name of the song and the artist in here you don't want to really make up anything cuz you know it's better not to have something there than to to do that and then it's going to mess up with iTunes um, all right, so you just want to keep it plain. Try to fill out all the all the information and make sure all of the information that you do have is accurate. So all right, let's say I did fill out the information for this song. I can right click and get album artwork. I can just go get album artwork, and it's gonna try to get it, and it got it. Bam! That's the correct album artwork that I had a couple of hours ago. So this is the L, you know this is one method. You just right click, get info. Go to the info tab, type in the information you can provide. Don't, you know, make up any information because I might um, just try, just put in all the 100% accurate information you have, basically. You know, click OK and then get album artwork. And it will, iTunes will even try to, you know, get a better album artwork for you if you can find it. If it, if it can find, you know, a more better artwork reflecting your song or your album. And you want to do this for every song and try to make it, you know, into one album um, and, you know, Make try to make it organized. Like go to your song, right click, get info, and make sure the album name is the same one for every song in that album. So I'll put it in one album and make sure everything you put is really accurate. So second way to do this, let's say you couldn't find any um let's say you, you, you have a song that's not on iTunes or you made your own song and want to put an album artwork for your own song, or you simply want to use your own album artwork, or maybe iTunes didn't even recognize your song. So what you can do in any of these scenarios, in any of these cases, you can just, you know, simply like Vivaldi Four Seasons. I don't know why. And then album artwork. Okay. And you go to the image in Google and you see which one um, best reflects what you want. You can, you know, click on it, go to full size image. Okay pretty high quality I would say so you want to save the image as I don't mind taking time save it okay now you want to go to iTunes right click on it get information and go to artwork add okay you might want to actually delete your old one first because it might add two just kind of and then we have it right here Vivaldi click on it okay updated so that's the second way you can do it the third way um, I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try you know deleting this one right here right. Okay. the third way we can do it is you can actually go ahead and locate the individual song which in this case is on my desktop 
it can be any directory anywhere so you want to right click on it uh, you actually want to uh, properties and details and it should tell you um, if you uh, it might actually be better if you go on to Windows Media Player in this case and you know artwork it should be somewhere here so but it's 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 the same actually um it's the same concept as the other one you should find it pretty easily so that's that and you know uh Vivaldi's playing but that's that and you should you should find it somewhere right here i don't want to go into too much detail cuz it's pretty much the same thing mm, yeah so that's that and you know uh, that's how you clean it up. You want to make sure everything's accurate and, and everything's nice, you know. Because if I, you know, it, it could be, it could be, this could be a really handy thing to making your iTunes library look much better. And it's really easy as well. So, next thing I'm going to teach you guys to do, let's say you make your own song or import it actually in my next tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to put explicit tags like this one or clean tags on your, on your on your files. Uh, that tutorial is probably coming in a few days. Um, stay tuned because that's also really handy to making your own music or your imported music from your purchased CDs look really professional as well. So these are really nice tips and tricks. If you have any tutorials, just shoot me a message in my YouTube to my YouTube and um, you know or check out please check out my you know the site blogtechdiggy.com. It's it's a really nice uh, blog. You can learn a lot from it and. Thanks guys. Sub, comment, like.